Won't it be wonderful there, having no burdens to bear? You say, what are you singing about? Heaven. Heaven, what a wonderful place it will be. No more burdens to bear. Not just through this seven weeks of the coronavirus, but friend, lifetime, we carry burdens. Lifetimes, we're, we're on the mountain and then we're in the valley. We're in the sunshine and then we're in the rain. I'm looking forward. I didn't say I want to go today, but I'm looking forward to when we all get to heaven. And there'll be no more burdens to bear. Won't it be wonderful there? Don't give up in the midst of this journey. Keep walking with the Lord. Let me, let me share with you a little bit about heaven. And I think about like Joe Nutter, one of our faithful members of 20 years, passed away during this time. And we wasn't able to give him a funeral. Uh, we're we're going to have a memorial when we come back to church. But always when I preach a funeral, every funeral I think I've done in the last 30 plus years, I go to Revelation 21 and 4 and I close out that funeral message. And listen to this promise. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall they be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And I always use this illustration when somebody takes their last breath I believe that God is standing at the gate of heaven. And God will call out your name and say, Welcome home, my good and faithful servant. Can you imagine hearing that? And then I believe just about the time you take a step to enter into heaven, into eternity, God says, Wait a second. And He reaches over and He dries the tears from your eyes. And He said, Tears of sorrow are not welcome here. Then he looks at you and he talks about pain and things you and I have experienced in life. He said, listen, there's no more pain here. There's no more sorrow. No more death. You know, I'm still on this side of heaven. But I know the pain of death when I've been separated from grandparents and a mother and a father that I deeply loved and, and I miss them. So I know the experience of pain on this side. And in Christ, as I experience death someday, there'll be no pain because He took the sting out of death. So I want you to think about heaven. I know things are a little out of sync right now, but this is not our home. The Bible says for you and I that are believers, this is just a temporary place that we've just stopped by for a while. So let's not get too accustomed to this world. And let's look for the world to come. Heaven. Just the very word. I say it all the time when I speak about, when I speak about heaven. Just that word heaven soothes my soul. Heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. People say, well, God would, God's a God of love. God would never send nobody to hell. You're exactly right. We will send ourselves there. God gave His Son that we could have life. So today, there's a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Today, if you're not certain that heaven is your home, pray this prayer and mean it from your heart, Lord Jesus. Today, I ask you into my life. I acknowledge that, yes, I'm a sinner. I have failed, fallen short time and time again. But Lord, I ask you today to save me like Peter cried out. Save me when he was walking on the water. Get me out of this mess. The Lord will get you right out of your mess of sin. He'll save you. Put your feet on a rock. He'll guide you and direct you. If you prayed that prayer today, give me a call. 304-669-1140 or shoot me a text. I'd love to hear from you. Hey, by the way, everybody that's listening... Please, this coming Sunday morning, May 10th at 10 o'clock a.m., we've got a huge stage outside. The band will be worshiping and I'll be preaching. We're going to invite everybody to fill the parking lot with lawn chairs. 
we'll distance ourselves properly, professionally. We want you to come and be a part of it. Come on out, 10 o'clock, you're invited and invite somebody to come with you. We love you, God bless you.